uh, we just didn't play our best game today. Um, they they did. Um, can't turn the ball over. Um, just little mental lapses um, that can't happen uh, that we're going to work on starting tomorrow, and uh, you know hopefully get ready for whoever we play next. Yes, for Kirby and Stetson, I think four drives in the red zone tonight, only 10 points. Why do you think you guys struggled there in that area of the field? Yeah, they did a good job stopping us twice. And then, you know, one of them, we went for it, you know, where we could, probably could have got points. But at that point, I felt like we needed touchdowns, not field goals. And I'll let Stetson answer as well. Yeah, well, I mean, can't throw a pick down there. Um, you know, the, the one where they went all out zero, uh, clock was running down, didn't have time, tried to uh, whenever we went forward on fourth down, tried to uh, scramble and make a play. It didn't happen. Um, and then we I just got to finish it. I mean, we had opportunities. Uh, like I said, we were moving it. We were driving the ball all four times and just, you know, can't throw picks. Um, got to execute. What was the biggest challenge in facing Bryce? And then defensively that you had to go against Stenson, what was the biggest challenge for you? You know, he a great player. We knew that coming in. You know, he was uh, very elusive. He uh, runs the offense well. He, uh, he did a good job keeping his eyes downfield and avoiding our pass rush. Um, and I feel like, you know, the pass rush and the curve has got to work hand in hand. So um, him being able to keep his eyes downfield and, and make some certain throws, you know, really helped him out. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're a really good team, uh, really good players. Um, you know, we moved the ball. Um, and just mental lapses. Um, and when they do that, when you do that, they, they make you pay, um, you know, several third downs, um, the two interceptions. Uh, you, you just can't have that uh, versus a team of this caliber. And we had it, and they made us pay for it. Front row. Go ahead. Uh, two questions. First, for Stetson, you, you referenced a couple picks you threw, and there was another one in the first half that was – that was pretty close. I'm just wondering if you at all felt off at all tonight, or um, it was just a couple of mistakes, basically. Yeah, no, I felt I felt fine. Um, the first one was a bad decision. The second one, um, I didn't see the safety driving. Um, you know, and like I said, you can't have those you can't have those two plays against players like this. Um, and they made they made us pay for it. Um, and Kirby, I, I understand Alabama scored 41 points tonight, but there's always debate about the quarterback uh, situation. There's going to be debate about who should start in the playoffs. Can you just sort of address that and whether you think you have a decision to make about who starts something in the playoffs? We have a decision to make every week at every position, but I have the utmost confidence in Stetson Bennett and think he did some really nice things tonight. You know, but we, we go and reevaluate everything all the time. But, you know, he played well and uh, it's tough, tough environment. We put him in defensively. And didn't, you know, we have to be able to run the ball and have a little bit of semblance of balance. And I felt like there was times tonight night that we were getting into a, you know, a scoring contest because our, our defense didn't get stops. Um, and you don't want to have to do that. But I certainly have a lot of confidence in Stetson and I have a lot of confidence in JT too. Thank you, Chip Towers, Atlanta Journal Constitution. Uh, good to see you, Kirby. I'll, I'll ask you a last neck night question and a looking forward question. Uh, Last night, you know, obviously, anytime things don't work out, there's a lot of questions. Uh, just wondering regarding Stetson and JT, was there any discussion, like even on the headset or something about, hey, uh, you know, should we go in there and give JT uh, a shot in this game since you were down trying to come back quick? And then looking forward, I know you know Georgia history pretty good, uh, but just Georgia playing in the Orange Bowl for the first time since 1960, have you – Heard from Claude or anything about that? Or is any part of you excited that, yeah, just I guess the Georgia fan base gets to go to to Miami and sort of check that box? Yeah, I didn't realize that. I seemed like maybe Claude earlier today, right when it happened, told me that. I wasn't aware of that. Um, but I didn't realize it was 1960. So that's been a that's been a long time. Uh, so I know our fans will be excited. I think the the matchup with Michigan certainly excites a lot of our fan base and uh, in our school um, because there's a lot of uh, 
commonality between our president and he used to work there at Michigan. So I know it'll be, a, and, and also Tom Green, his family being connected to Coach Harbaugh. So a lot of connections there. I think that's a great matchup and certainly excited to go play in what I think is one of the best bowls there is out there. And a lot of our players haven't had that opportunity. So that part will be cool. Um, as far as the, the stats and JT question, no, we never discussed that on the headphones last night. And, uh, you know, obviously we have to play better in a lot of areas, but to put um, a, a, any part of that blame or all that blame on stats, and there's a lot more uh, to it than that. And uh, we got to play better around him. We got to play better on special teams, defense and really all facets of the game. There was there were some really, really, really good throws last night by Stetson, some throws that only his guy could catch the ball, and he made some good plays. And uh, we got to continue to work on the, the poor decisions and, and a couple of the throws there that were uh, picked off. Mark Weiser, Athens, Banner Herald. Hey, Kirby, I'm not sure if you're on the road recruiting or not, but how will your staff juggle recruiting, bowl prep, and practice work between now and signing day? And as it relates to, to Stetson and JT, will you consider making a change there or do you feel Stetson is your starter? Yeah, I've, I've addressed that already. already. But as far as the, the, the recruiting, yeah, we're all out recruiting. Um, we'll be all out this week. We missed last week and uh, unfortunate that we missed last week, but fortunate that we got to play in the game we got to play in. So that exposure covers a lot of that up. But we're trying to kind of double down and go see as many guys as we can this week because it goes dead on us here soon. And we got a big official visit weekend uh, this coming weekend. So all our guys will be out and our players have a little time off uh, when I say off, off from practice, but they'll be lifting, they'll be running. We've got a kind of a program set up for those guys and, and we'll be getting um, back into it uh, at the back end of the week as we come off the road.